Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to the common room. I have a very fun unboxing for you guys today. I have actually been sent a couple items to review for you and I actually saw this company on TikTok before they ever reached out to me. So I was so excited because I was thinking about purchasing something from them anyways. So keep watching if you would like to see the Harry Potter inspired fragrances from Maison Magique. All right, guys, so like I said before, these items that have been sent to me from Maison Magique, I believe is how you say it. I hope I'm not butchering it, but they are Harry Potter inspired fragrances. Now, I saw this company on TikTok probably a couple months ago. They have some really satisfying videos of them actually bottling the product, and it's just very fun to watch. And then it's Harry Potter inspired, which just makes them even more amazing. So I've been very excited to try these out. Now I am, I like perfume, but I've never been able to find like a good alley scent perfume that is just my go-to scent. And so when I saw that they had Harry Potter and like Slytherin specific, all of the houses inspired fragrances, I was like, wow, I would really like to try that because how perfect would it be if the scent that I fall in love with is a Harry Potter inspired perfume. So I was actually thinking about maybe purchasing one from them after my trip to New York, because of course I was saving money to spend it all at the Harry Potter store. And they actually reached out to me just a few days before I went on vacation. So I was so excited the whole time I was on vacation. And now they have sent me this very big box and I don't know, they said they were gonna send me a complete collection. And so I'm thinking they might've sent me all four of the houses, which is going to be amazing because I know they're all very different. And even though I hope Slytherin would be the one that I would love, it would still be awesome for me to just enjoy any of them. So I'm very excited. Let's go ahead and get into it and just see what these perfumes look like. I'm very excited. Now, while I'm opening this box, I believe that they sent me just perfume. I was looking at their website and it looks like they also have candles that are like Harry Potter inspired, which is really cool. I've been getting a little more into candles lately and they also have some hoodies, but their main thing is definitely their perfume. Mm, I'm so excited. I can tell just by opening this up that they did send me like the full size of there's multiple boxes in here. So I'm assuming it's all four of the houses. I am so excited. I've been watching their TikToks all day, getting ready for this and they're beautiful. Let me show you. So I don't know like which is which, but look at this box that they come in. Is this not just the most luxurious thing you've ever seen in your whole life? You can see beautiful Hogwarts castle on there. And then it says Maison Magique. And there's no spoilers. It doesn't say anything about it on the outside. So let's pull out all four of them. I'm in love with these boxes. Like I could display these, <laughs> they're beautiful. So they all come in the same box. Nothing else. Okay, so I'm very excited because I don't know which is which. So we're just gonna do them randomly and see what we pull out. So this is gonna be perfume number one. Again, Hogwarts Castle, Maison Magique. And they have like, when you open this, it's it's magnetized. Yeah, it's magnetized, this little thing. Very nice. I can tell you that the quality of the boxes itself is just wonderful. Like I think they're beautiful and so shiny. <laughs> Holy moly, look at this. Look at just this like print on the inside. Like how gorgeous is that? Oh, you can never go wrong with gold foiling. Let's see. Okay guys, so the first one we have is the Gryffindor. You can see the crest on the perfume bottle in there. It's so pretty, it has like a red background on it and you can see the lion crest. Let's look, I think, 
I think these are kind of special. So let's open, oh, on the back of it, it says, illuminate the magic. I think you open it up and it gives you some information. Holy moly. I want to frame this. Like this is gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to read it to you. Well, actually, let me show you. So besides the fact that it's just beautiful with the Gryffindor lion in the middle, and you've got the Gryffindor sword on the side here, and just all these gorgeous gold foiled stars. I can't get over it. Okay, so it says, bold, illuminating, and brilliantly courageous. Oh, I don't know how to say this. I think it's O de Gryffindor greets you with a brave and chivalrous dose of benevolence, leaving an unforgettable impression. And these are, it says 1.7 flow ounces and made in the USA. It does have, there's this awesome little golden snitch down here. Oh, and I think that's Dobby. And right next to it, it does say that they are cruelty free. It's just so pretty. Okay, now I don't, mm, I don't know what the scent itself is. Let me look that up. So I went on to Maison Magique's website just to see the description of the scent for the Gryffindor. And it says a chivalrous and illuminating fragrance, bold and radiant wood accords, courageously infused with rare mountain rose, extracted at first breath after a full moon. It is as daring as it is fierce. That's very cool. Let's see. It sounds like it's going to be kind of like a nature floral scent. But let's pull this out of here so we can actually take a look at it. Ooh, it is in here very nicely, which is very good for the owl post because it's not moving. Oh, there we go. I had this little spot in there and I just took it right out of the box. You can see the beautiful Gryffindor lion on the crest here. So this one, I don't know if the, if all of them are gold crests because I know like Slytherin's usually silver, but we'll have to see. It has this awesome little gold on top. Ooh. It feels so nice. Like you can tell that the quality, at least of the bottle itself and the box is really, really good quality. Ooh, I can already smell it. Let me spray it. I have like a little piece of paper to spray it on like you do in Bath and Body Works. Um, but I can tell you just from smelling it without spraying it, it seems like something that I wasn't expecting to like so much because I'm not always like a florally kind of person. Let, let's just see though what it smells like on here. Oh, it does smell really good. Surprisingly good. I can definitely smell the floral rose scent in it. It has a little more of like a manly scent to it, but then it has like the little hints of the floral. It's, it's a very good mixture, I think, of feminine and manly. A little more of a description that they have on the website. It says it has rose absolute, cumin and spices that are infused with wood accords. This brew is boldly mixed with a generous amount of musk and, I can't pronounce it, some type of wood. I think the... Oh, it says like a century old tapestry. I can like imagine this being kind of what the Gryffindor common room would smell like. The scent of, you know, older pictures and stuff, not in a bad way. It's very hard to describe. I'm very bad at this, but I can see this being the scent of the Gryffindor common room. I do really enjoy the Gryffindor scent. I'm very surprised with how much I do like this one. I can see, I don't know if it would be my scent, but I can definitely see myself wearing this. Like a lot of perfumes that I've tried, whenever I spray them, they smell good at first, but then I can't see myself wearing that all day. But this I think I definitely could. I don't know if it would be my go-to, but it definitely smells good. Okay guys, let's open up box number two and see which house we have. 
you never know because it's just the same. Hogwarts on top. Let's see what the crest is when we move it. Oh, we have Slytherin. I'm very excited. If I would have chose my own out of the four to buy without smelling them, I definitely would have chose Slytherin just because I am a Slytherin and I feel like it should call to me. But we'll have to see if I like it more than Gryffindor because Gryffindor was very good. But let's open it up. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. These are getting framed. I'm telling you right now they're getting framed because this one has Slytherin and the Slytherin locket on the side. And look how pretty that is. These are gorgeous. The attention to detail just on the little print with the information that comes in the box is fantastic. I would really love to frame these and put them somewhere. I feel like I need a whole like celestial room because I would have them on my wall. But let's see, this one says, ambitious and audacious, Ode de Slytherin is in a fierce stride to leave an impression, fashioning itself into a new, fresh, sharp reality. Let's see, let's take a look on the website and see how this scent is described. So for the Slytherin description, it says it is bitten with sharp citrus accords, fresh florals and musk. The creation makes an unforgettably haunting statement of motivation and drive. Notes of a classic Eau de Cologne features crisp citrus oils, surprising floral notes, and amber undertones. It sounds really good. I'm really hoping that I like it. It sounds a little more like the type of perfume that I would usually go for, a little citrusy. But let's see, you can see on this beautiful bottle that it has the green on the background and the gold crest for Slytherin. Now usually Slytherin is silver, but I'm not upset about it because it kind of matches the whole vibe of the gold foiling and the gold box. And it's just beautiful. So let's take it out of here. It's kind of hard to smell because we have the other one in the room already. Let me go ahead and spray this one on a piece of paper and see. I will say, just like picking up the little top that goes on the perfume, this is heavy. I, I know I've said it a few times, but I definitely feel like the quality is there with the perfume. Let's see what this smells like out of the bottle. Hmm. That one's a little more like citrusy. Definitely, I was gonna say fruity, but it's definitely the citrusy scent. I really like it. It also has a little bit of that musk to it, but the citrus definitely overpowers that. This one I feel like is a little more of a feminine scent. I think, I mean, I could wear the other one too, but I feel like this one's just a little more feminine. Man, now it's just in my head to think about this being the Slytherin common room because the Gryffindor one was so perfectly for the Gryffindor common room. And I can kind of see this being the Slytherin common room. I don't know if energetic is the word, but like compared to the Gryffindor scent, it was a very calm, cozy, where I feel like this one has a little more, it's just a little more energized. I don't know how to explain it, but it's very good. I, I definitely can see like Draco Malfoy wearing this. It's definitely a very Draco kind of scent. Chris is giving me eyes in the background. He knows I like Draco a little bit, but it's very, very good. I'm Again, I'm very surprised with these. They, I believe that these colognes, they're not like specific, like a woman's perfume or a men's cologne. You can kind of wear them either way. They have feminine and masculine notes in each one, but it's very good. Mm, I don't know which one I like better. They're very different scents. Like I said, very cozy, very energetic. This one's a lot more citrusy and I do enjoy the citrus or the fruitiness of a perfume. So I definitely like it. We're gonna put it to the side. I'm not sure where it's ranking yet on my list, but it's very good. Now we are going to open box number three. We either have Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw in here. So let's see. 
remove our little paper. We have, ooh, it looks like we have the Ravenclaw crest here. I can see some blue. Let's take a look at this little description card first because I can't wait to see. I hope they have the diadem in here. Oh, wait, what is wrong with me? Oh, I'm a liar. I assumed it was Ravenclaw because I thought it was a blue background, but it's a black background. This one is actually the Hufflepuff crest. I'm the worst, but I'm very excited for Hufflepuff. I saw, I was opening it and I saw Huffle and I was like, wait a minute. So it has black on the background for Hufflepuff, which makes sense because the yellow would probably just blend in with that gold. But let's see what we have here. We have an adorable badger, and of course, with our Hufflepuff cup on the side there. I love this gold foiling. Why is it so pretty? Okay, this one says, inviting and welcoming. Oh, do Hufflepuff is loyal in its presence and comforts those who acknowledge its rarity. I don't know what that could even be. Let's look at this bottle and then we'll pull up the description. Yeah, when I'm looking at it closer, I can definitely see the Hufflepuff badger in here. So we have so cute. I'm going to take a little scent or a little sniff of it and then we'll see the description. Oh, this one is very different than the other two. Let me see the description. I don't I don't really know what that scent is. So it says for the loyal perfume, it opens with green and tart aromas of greenhouse basil, which is surrounded by bitter and cold cords of black pepper and cheerful pink pepper, while rare magnolia enhances sharpness and citrusy scent. The heart mixes warm and comforting shades of Lang Lang combined with gardenia. There's a lot going on on it. It's very different. Let me spray it on a little piece of paper and see what it smells like. I don't know if it's the basil scent to it, but it definitely smells more like a little herby, I guess. I can smell the herbs in it. They are really hitting it spot on with common room scents though. I cannot get over that. Like again, I'm walking into Hufflepuff common room and this is what it smells like. When I smelled the Gryffindor one, I thought like I had a little bit of naturey scent to it, but it was more like being in the woods and like a masculine kind of essence to it. This one reminds me of, I don't know if I would say the kitchens, but like in the garden, it gives me a very like out in the garden kind of scent. It's very different than the other two. It's, it's growing on me the more that I smell it. At first I wasn't sure if I liked it as much as the other two, but, but it does smell really, there's one scent in here. Let me look at the description and see what exactly they say is in it. It says, elegant orchid and oak moss oils create an aroma that intrigues and invites you into its world. What was once doubted is no longer, leaving the one who greets this aura only radiant memories. I definitely smell, like it says, the oak moss oil. I smell the oils in the basil. Chris says it's an earthy scent, which I guess is kind of why I associated it with being like in the gardens. I guess it's a floral that gives it a little more of the feminine hint to it. These perfumes, I'm going to say right now, they are very interesting. I'm really enjoying all three of the ones that I have smelled so far. They're very good, very unique scents. Okay guys, so let's put Hufflepuff up and we only have Ravenclaw left. We already know that I'm hoping to see a diadem on the inside of it. But let's get it out of its box and see what it smells like. I've heard that there's a lot of people who really like the Ravenclaw one. So my expectations are a little high. Last box, we have Ravenclaw in here. So let's take a look at it. We've got our Hogwarts. Okay, see this one is a little more blue. You can see the Ravenclaw with the blue background. 
Oh, it does have the diadem. Oh, it's even prettier than I thought it would be too. So you have, it, it looks like they did Ravenclaw very good here and they have an eagle in the middle. At least that's what it looks like to me. But look at this diadem. Why are you so pretty? Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, let's see what this one says. I don't know how to say this word, but I will try. Ravishingly ephemeral and refined, Oda Ravenclaw embodies the essence of absolute discovery, non-conforming and deep in its pursuit of where the mind takes you. Let's take a look. Well, let me get the bottle out. I do really like the crest on that one. I like the blue color too with the gold. Very pretty. So this one says a luxurious and ravishing fragrance, enriched with dark wood accords and an alluring potion of florals and spice. It is both modern and timeless, makes an unforgettable intellectual statement of magical and worldly glamour. Well, let's see. This is our very last one. My room smells very perfumey right now, but I'm not mad about that. Oh. Oh, that one is so good. Let me let me smell it on a paper, but it definitely smells good. Oh, it's even better. Oh, goodness gracious. I understand why people like the Ravenclaw one. Again, spot on Ravenclaw common room. That is the one thing that I will tell you about all of these. You're gonna smell this when you walk into their common room. This one to me is much more, it's got, it has kind of a clean scent to it, but still a little bit of the muskiness. It would definitely remind me of being in a library. It smells so good. Let me, let me have Chris smell this while I look up what exactly is in this one. It says that it has black currant, lemon, and bergamot is infused with the essence of mandarin. This brew is kissed with oriental amber and vanilla from the edges of books with a ghost of incense and patchouli. It takes you beyond the pages. Oh, that's so cool. I love that it has vanilla from the edge of books because I definitely smelled something library related in it. The mandarin, I feel like I'm not picking up a lot of citrusy, but it does say it's just the essence of mandarin. Like it has just a tiny hint of that in it. I think I smell the patchouli, like the patchouli and the vanilla. It definitely makes me just wanna go sit down and read a book, I can tell you that. You think clean? Yeah, Chris also says that it smells just very clean. Oh man, they're all very good. So it was very hard to rank these perfumes as to which I prefer because they are all so unique. I will definitely say that they did a, that Maison Magique did a fantastic job at really thinking of each house separately and creating a scent that embodied that. Because like I said, each of these to me, I can close my eyes and see the common room for each of these houses when I smell it. It's just amazing how they did that. Now, of course, I am gonna have favorite and least favorite scents. Now, this is definitely personal preference. So this is just how I feel about the scents. I am sure that there are going to be others out there who differ because perfume is a really unique thing. I feel like everybody has their own type that they really enjoy. So I'm gonna start off with my number four, which isn't last place, it's just my least favorite out of the four. And we are going to go with the Loyal Perfume, which is what you can find it on under their website. It is the Hufflepuff scent. And again, it's very Hufflepuff. I actually, the more I smell it, the more I like it. I still think that it's going to be just my least favorite, but if you are a Hufflepuff and you enjoy all things Hufflepuff, I think that you would enjoy this scent. It's definitely more earthy and just very good, but number four on my list. All right, then number three, 
which I still really enjoyed this scent, is going to be our Brave perfume, which is the Gryffindor. Now, this one, it definitely was kind of like a cozy, I thought it was a little more masculine, but very good. It It's number three on the list, but I still think it was fantastic. Definitely a great scent for your Gryffindor lions. Now for number two, it was kind of a close call. There were two that I really enjoyed, but number two runner up is going to go to the Wisdom perfume, which is Ravenclaw. This one did smell so amazing. It definitely took me back to library and books and seriously, Ravenclaw common room, 100%. It smells very, very good. I think that I would like to see this scent on Chris. Like I think that this is would smell so good for like a cologne. Again, for, I mean, they're made for women or men, but I can just see Chris wearing this and I think it would be amazing. So I definitely like it, but it just came in number two on my list. Which means number one, which I'm very happy to say, is going to be our ambition perfume for Slytherin. This one, it was just a little more citrusy and a little more fruity than the other three scents, which is something that I really enjoy. I thought it just smells so good. I can definitely see myself wearing this one. I'm very excited. I think that I'll have to try this one out, see if I can make it my scent that I wear all the time. But yeah, it was definitely number one on the list. They're all so unique though. If you guys are wanting to try them, I mean, I think you would be happy. I was happy with all four. All right, guys. So now it's time for me to give my honest opinion on the products that I received. And I have to say that I am definitely a fan. And I think that each of these items is worth getting. I will make sure to leave a link for the website and for each product itself. But on the website, each of these is only $35, which I think is very, just for the perfume itself, it's very affordable because perfume can get very pricey. And you're not just getting, you're not just paying $35 for this very well-made bottle. Like I said, the lid on these, super heavy. Like you can tell it's great quality. And the bottle itself, like I just love the simplisticness of it. Like it's the black, but then it has this gorgeous Hogwarts crest on it. The theming on these is perfect. But again, you're not just getting the perfume and the bottle, but you're also getting this beautiful gold box with that specific card inside of it that has all of the information on the house with the house animal and one of the Horcruxes. Everything was themed so well. When I'm looking at these items and I'm smelling how amazing they smell, you can tell that there are true fans creating this product because I mean, the number one thing for me that instantly gave me true fan vibes was that Ravenclaw has an eagle in it. I'm so excited for any Ravenclaw who wants to buy this because Ravenclaw has just slowly evolved into a raven being the house crest and the house mascot, even though it is an eagle in the books. All these other companies putting out products that are licensed products are even putting ravens on there. And it's an eagle. And it's fantastic that it's an eagle on this. So much attention to detail went into them. The, the crest itself, the, the gold crest, but you can see the mascot in the middle of it. And then not just the theming, but the scent itself. Like I said, I can definitely get vibes of each house when I'm smelling their personal scent. If you're a Ravenclaw or a Hufflepuff and you're wanting to give off that Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff vibe, I definitely think that whenever you smell this, you are going to associate it with your house. I think they did a great job giving that essence of your house into the scent itself. I was so excited because Slytherin is my favorite scent. And I definitely think it's because it's the most Slytherin out of all of them. They just did such a fantastic job. And I really think that they are worth the $35. So that's just my personal opinion. These were sent to me for free, but I, I'm so very impressed with them. 
As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time in the common room.